Okay, well the dogs, this rabbit came through here, went down in by the, to the below end of the lake there and they made a right, made up, was going heading up the hill and there's a, actually a fence and a, a cornfield up there. I wanted to keep them out of that property. So, and I saw the size of this rabbit, it looked good. So I called them down here and they're running it down in the woods there. So actually heading up it's gonna it's gonna be a good runner here no baby rabbit here it's gonna be a nice one so I'm just gonna go around here and try to meet them up well, they're pounding this rabbit and they're coming back I saw it cross right there and they went down to the lake just about and they're heading back up the woods here this will be the first circle. Let's see if the rabbit comes up through this mow strip. <laughs> he turned on him. Doing a good job though. Okay, I just saw the rabbit cross right up here. Kind of heading right up to that little sapling maple. So, here comes the dogs. rabbit doesn't head to that cornfield because it's right on the other side of that tree line there. Kind of want to keep him here. But I have no choice. Wherever the rabbit runs. down in there there's a looks like old tree branches and stuff dead a lot of dead leaves like something just fell off a tree not too long ago I'm hoping to catch the rabbit crossing this little mow strip here but it's coming this way Across. I missed it. And he was in front on that. I got the farm right there. And I'm right next to the fence. So I'm hoping this rabbit stays on this side of the fence. And I got the fence right there, and it's a good tight one. Hopefully the dogs can't get over it. But the, sounds like the rabbit hit that fence. Yeah, sounds like buggies on the other side already. Yep. They got over that fence.
he's stuck. And he's stuck. Billy's already through it. It's a pretty good fence here. Oh well. Oh, looks like they're all through it. Mark Annie. in the cornfield. Come here guys. <laughs> okay, well the dog shut up for a minute. The cornfield's right here. On the other side of this fence. We got a little mo strip here. They're pretty quiet, so I'm gonna come up here and see. <laughs> we went across right down here where I got him crossing the first time. Oh, there he is. This is going to be another good circle down there in the lake, to the lake. Annie's in front. I'm glad I brought her over here. She's really doing a good job on this one. <laughs> like where it crossed the first time. Okay, I was just relieving myself here and this rabbit just came through this, just this side of the sunshine there in the shadow. And just went right down in the, down by the, lake down there heading towards the lake that line should be right inside here on the shadow there the dogs are right here that's where it jumped at there you go Billy you're gonna hit it right over right there. He should hit it right there. There they are. Right here. Let's get getting the direction line down on this because this is where they came through a minute ago. <laughs> Let's see him work his check out. going on there. Might be a different rabbit. But... I had to pick up the dogs. They kept running back and forth across that fence and it was a good tight one. So uh, we walked down here in the prairie grass and along the wood line and Annie and Billy found something down there in the trees. So, 
This is our second rabbit. All right, this is rabbit number three, right there at that last shadow on the right. The rabbit came blasting down the hill there. Actually, I've been walking back to my truck and We about got a carbon copy of the last time this race started. This should be their fourth rabbit today. This one doesn't hit the fences, we're okay. Just off Doug's right there at the top of that little hill. They're coming back down. They jumped it out of the sumac right here. And it went right up. We got the silt pond right here. It went down there along the timber. Back around. There they are. Just on the other side of those little plum, that little plum. Good. Good running little rabbit. I have a feeling Annie's doing a lot of learning today.
there. I think that bigger rabbit got him to switch on to a small one here. Good nose work for him though. It's not so small that it's not running in a circle. Well, we're finished up with our run. It's uh, a little afternoon, and it's temperature supposed to get up in the 80s today, so we're done. We had a good time. They ran four different rabbits. Come on, come on, yeah.